Hey everyone, I was contacted by a company called ETA uh, to look, take a look at their portable water filter. So I bought one out of my own money and decided that I was going to put it through my own testing. What attracted me to this was ETA, the water filter, has a long list of international certifications. And you can go to their website, I'll, I'll link it down below so you can check it out for yourself. But just for a check and balance, let's see what I can do here on my own. So let's go find some really nasty water. Lucky for me, there is a uh, pretty interesting town not far away. So let's go check it out. Here I am, heading to Marlin. I've got a friend who's lived here for a couple of years and she's gonna give me the skinny on what's happening with the water here. This is one of Conrad Hilton's first hotels. Mineral water, huh? Let's see what that's all about. The water in Marlin is very low quality, um, dangerously low quality. The mineral content is very high. It has been tested several times to be unsafe to drink. And in the eight years that we've lived here, we have not drank the water in Marlin. We get bottled water exclusively. We now have a filter on our commercial building, uh, but that took years to find one that was even a decent quality for a building this size. And for personal use, we still use bottled water and we feed our pets bottled water as well. This house is 110 some odd years old and so are the pipes. So let's see what this thing can really do. This is water from that house in Marlin. And you can see the stuff floating around inside of it. So let's do a little test. Depends upon what it looks like when it comes out the other side. Marlin house water before, Marlin alkali water after. <laughs> yeah, it's really not bad. Austin tap water that I collected at the beginning. That did not that did not run through the filter. So this is just straight tap water. <clears throat> and there it is. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. That's crazy. Hundred year old pipes in Marlin. Filtered afterwards. So what are my conclusions? Um, you know, this is a really uh, pretty impressive uh, starting off from something that gross to uh, to that clear. I'm pretty impressed. But I wanna see what the durability of this thing really is. All right, let's go outside. This test has no scientific basis. I just wanna see how durable this thing is. So behind me is my telescopic painter's pole I use for ham radio antennas. So I've got the uh, ETA filter up at the top filled up. Let's see what it does. So final thoughts, uh, it's well made and uh, the results have been pretty impressive. And you can see the before and after. Uh, 
it's got this nice little squeeze bottle. You have, you have to squeeze it as you are drinking to force the water up through the filter. Um, it's pretty price competitive, compare, uh, looking at uh, other units uh, similar. It's got this nice ring on the top, made in America. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. I have an Amazon affiliate link below, or if you go to the ETA website, you can order it using uh, the discount code in the description box. So thanks, I hope that uh, this was interesting and useful for everyone and stay safe out there.